In this video, we're going to find the vertex min or max value and then find the domain and range of x. But we're not going to do it by using the standard form. Rather, now we're going to use um, this equation where so x equals negative b over 2a. And so this is the x um, coordinate of the vertex. Okay? So how did this come about? Well, if, if you were to, you know, use completing the square of y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, if you were to use completing the square and get this into the format, um, you know, looking like the standard form format, where you have a um, times x plus something squared minus or plus k, or something, something like that. Um, you would see that 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 this is basically this this x is basically the um, the h that you would have, right? So if you were to get it into this format, uh, x minus h squared plus k, you know this is that. Okay. So if you were to get that into that format, you would find that out. Well, um, anyway, so we can just use that. I, I recommend that you do this for, you know, practice. Um, but we'll just go ahead and use it for this example. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to find the vertex. So I'm going to start with x equals negative b over 2a. In this, um, here's b. So negative 8. Here's a. 2 times 2. So that will be negative 8 over 4, which is negative 2. All right, I need to find the y coordinate of the vertex, though, right? I can't just have the nx um, coordinate of the vertex. So to do that, I'm going to plug in negative 2 for x. So negative 2 squared plus 8 times negative 2 minus 3. So negative 2 squared is 4 plus, well actually not plus because it'd be minus at that point, 8 times negative 2 is minus 16, minus 3. So this would be 8 minus 16 minus 3, which is 8 minus 16 is negative 8, minus 3, which is negative 11. Okay, so what's my vertex? My vertex is negative 2, negative 11. So that's the vertex. Now, is, um, is this a min or max value? Well, remember, if a, if this term out front is negative, then, um, well, if it's positive, it goes this way, right? And if the term out front a is negative, it goes this way. So the vertex will be a min if a is positive. In this case, a is positive. So the vertex, which is, you know, down here, will be a min. So the, this is a min um, value, and the min value is the y coordinate of the vertex. So that will be negative 11. Okay. So let me erase this. That was just a dem demonstration, not necessarily a graph of this function, right? Or definitely not a graph of this function. So the min value is negative 11, uh, which occurs when x equals negative 2. Okay, last part of this is find the domain and range of f. So let's talk about that. So the domain, the domain of f, well we know that the domain for uh, quadratic functions is always going to be negative infinity to infinity. And it makes sense because we can put in anything for x and we'll get out a real number for y. So the domain is negative infinity to infinity. Now what about the range? Now if we were to, you know, I'm just gonna just sketch this. Now I have, um, you know, way down here, at, you know, here if this is negative 11 and this is negative 2, that's my vertex. So I have, you know, parabola looks like this, right? It's opening upwards because we have a is positive. So it's going like this. And um, let's see, so range would be all the values that y takes, 
on. Now, y goes all the way down to negative 11, but it never gets any lower than negative 11. So negative 11 is its lowest value that y can take. So that means that when you're thinking about your range, your range, that would be that you would go from negative 11, and you include negative 11, because it does reach a negative 11, and then it goes all the way up to infinity. So it goes up from there.